Chennai. After much ado, the AIEDMK merger is now officially complete. EPS and OPS have finally shaken their hands and have claimed to work together unitedly to fulfill Amma's vision. EPS has also claimed that they will be retrieving the two-leaf symbol of the party. While OPS will take charge as the Deputy Chief Minister in a short while from now, he will also handle the finance portfolio. While the cabinet is likely to be expanded, Shashikala will be ousted in the near future. We want everybody to be together. Why they want to avoid us, I can't understand. See, if somebody is helping to somebody, we must be loyal to them forever. And that day when the judgment has come to Shinnama that she has to go to the court the next day morning, she didn't go just like that. She would have thought, let the government go anyway, why should I bother, even I am going to jail. But Honorable Shinnama didn't do that. <laughs> In the Yekatil Erekendra, Wonder Ekodi, Tuya Thunderhead. In the Yekatin, Ani Veraha, in the Yekate, Tangi Puritirk and the Thunderhead, Virupatirk, Yenanga, our Woody Yeka Kanavali, Nerevich in the Hagel, in the Kinam, in Enderkan Road. Here and the Alaverk is Sidi, Sendra Day of Lee, our way a Sarba home. Yet Tamil Catholic and Rare, Kunmana Chamal Prochit Teller, Yimjar, Hiri Prochit Teller, Yama, Yuru, Talerly, Diuma, one in the Athena Thunder and Nirvai. Absolutely, unless there has been external pressure by the BJP, I don't think you know you would have reached a situation where. OPS, OPS, who has been three times chief minister, has agreed to become a deputy chief minister. In itself shows that there has been a lot of pressure from BJP. Let's quickly go over to Chennai where our colleague Lokpriya is standing by. Lokpriya, uh, over to you now. Just take us to what's happening really on the ground. The deal has been done and finally we see that the OPS and EPS factions have decided to bury the hash for now and come together. But will this then be a bed of roses? At least for now, this is going to be a better version than what it was earlier. United AIDMK will be a strong force to reckon with and it can keep PTV Dinakaran at a check. And this is largely a show of strength, something that is aimed at Dinakaran. But the fact of the matter is Dinakaran still has those numbers. He still has about 20 MLAs and that is going to be problematic for the EPS and OPS faction uh, or rather the United AIDMK at this point in time. And uh, the fact that uh, Sashikala has not been expelled or there is no uh, statement uh, about Sashikala has left the cadres largely confused because there was only a statement, uh, a verbal statement that came in which stated that general counsel will be convened to uh, expel VK Sashikala. So this has left the cadres confused. But there is uh, also no hiding the fact that dissent is also brewing within the OPS camp. Few members of the OPS camp were not okay with this merger. But in the larger interest of the party and also due to the pressure, external pressure, they had to unite for uh, their own betterment. Now, Lokpia, so when you say now, that they had to unite for external EPS pressure, when, as you are saying, that there have been rumblings that are being heard from within the OPS camp, not everyone seems to be on the same page as OPS is concerned within his own faction. Now, when you talk of external pressures, what kind of external pressures are we really looking at over here? Well, the external pressure uh, largely comes in the form of TTV Dinakaran and just like how the opposition parties are blaming the external pressure is the BJP. Uh, the opposition party have been talking about how it is the BJP that is pulling the strings in Tamil Nadu. The DMK has not minced its words when it uh, blames the BJP for the internal crisis of the AI DMK. And uh, that is the external pressure. And as far as the internal pressure goes, it is TTV Dinakaran because he has the support of the MLAs. And on the 23rd of August this month, uh, there is going to be a rally uh, by TTV Dinakaran at Arkinagar constituency. And we will have to see how many MLAs turn up for that. At present, TTV Dinakaran has about 20 MLAs. If uh, TTV Dinakaran manages to pull in more MLAs uh, at the RK Nagar constituency, that is going to spell more trouble. But speaking at the party headquarters today, both EPS and OPS stated uh, that they will fight 
to ensure that the legacy of uh, Chief Minister Jayalalitha is carried forward. The golden rule of Jayalalitha is carried right. forward. And uh, they stated that both these factions, which have now united, will be a much stronger force. Right. Uh, Lokpriya, we see that you know, essentially it's raining there in Chennai. Today, today has been a day of dramatic developments. But then the opposition is quick to jump the gun and say that it's raining miseries in Chennai. Is that a fair argument on the part of the DMK? Well, yes, uh, the weather in uh, Chennai is as much unpredictable as far as the AIDMK political developments are concerned. And uh, yes, the DMK especially has been mounting charges against the AIDMK uh, consistently for various issues in the state. When we talk about Kadira Mangalam, the ONGC protest against hydrocarbon project, the NEAT uh, problem and also water scarcity. These are some of the few uh, problems that are engulfing the state of Tamil Nadu. The DMK has been talking about how the Tamil Nadu state government is not uh, concerned much about these problems but only about their infighting. So to that extent, uh, the DMK is justified in saying that it is raining misery. But one can only hope that uh, this uh, particular merger of both these factions should uh, solve uh, the problems of the AI DMK and finally uh, the state will see some respite. Right, so one is hoping for a sunny day after these uh, showers there in Tamil Nadu. Stay on with us, Lokpriya. There's some reactions coming in. In fact, Tamil Nadu's law minister and health minister have spoken, spoken to NewsX on the merger, saying that both factions are happy and the merger will mean a stronger AIADMK. Let's listen in. Lokpriya, so you got us that reaction uh, from the ministers there. The ministers clearly saying that everyone is happy. But, uh, you know, the, when everyone is happy, everyone is putting up a united face, one person who's hanging like an albatross is TTV Dinakaran. What will be his next move is something which is being discussed in closed doors within the AIADMK headquarters as well. Well, definitely, all eyes will now be on TTV Dinakaran. What is going to be his next step of action? And that can be predicted from his RK Nagar rally that is slated for Wednesday. TTV Dinakaran in the past had talked about how this is an unnatural alliance against the wishes of the party cadres. He talked about how this uh, merger of the AIDMK is done for a business motive and done to ensure their political motive. So TTV Dinakaran has come out strongly against this merger. So we will have to see uh, what is going to happen at this point in time. Right, so all eyes are also fixed on TTV Dinakaran as to what his next move will be because uh, Lokpriya, uh, just help us understand, e EPS and OPS together now have 114 MLAs by their side but uh, they're still short of that magic figure. Well, definitely yes, EPS and OPS put together have about 114 MLAs at this point in time. This is less than uh, the magic number that is required for a majority in the Tamil Nadu State Assembly. Yes, TTV Dinakaran at this point in time will not pull the rug out of uh, EPS's feet, uh, at least uh, now. But we will have to see if things uh, go awry, then uh, TTV Dinakaran will definitely not hesitate to do that. But uh, the uh, thought process within the EPS government is that uh, TTV Dinakaran will not topple the government because essentially everybody wants to be in power because if uh, there is going to be a re-election at this point in time, there is no guarantee that the AIDMK will come back to power. To that extent, uh, the AIDMK will want to be in power. They still have a good four years. So that is the hope that EPS government is right. Well, that's on. right, Lokpia. But, but also, you, you know, the, let, let's also try and analyze the role of the BJP in the middle of all this. Because it's just not a merger about uh, two warring factions of the AIADMK. There's been a lot of speculation about AIADMK's merger with the BJP also going forward. So does this uh, alliance of between two warring factions now essentially pave the way for an alliance with the BJP? Yes, chances 
are uh, there for this particular uh, development to take place. Many within the AIDMK do not rule out an alliance with uh, the NDA and uh, the compromise between both these factions also ensure that there will be uh, a cabinet post as well as two MOS posts for the uh, leaders of the United AIDMK. So that option is definitely not being ruled out by senior leaders of the AIDMK because AIDMK has considerable number of strength in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha and that will only come handy for the BJP in terms of passing crucial legislation. And right, uh, Lokpriya, request you to stay on with us because we are